It's Talk It Up Tuesday. I put this out for 10 minutes, but don't worry, I'm not gonna talk for 10 minutes. I wanna tell you really quickly that this is for history people and anybody that wants to know about the rifleman screen and Marines, of course. Um, so on this day in 1942, my rifle, the Creed of the United States Marine, was published in the Marine Corps Chevron, which was a newspaper that the uh, Marines in San Diego put out that was read all around the country. And our grandfather at the time was commanding officer of the Marine Corps Base San Diego, and he was asked to write something that would give some mojo to these Marines that were going to fight the Japanese in the Pacific. Our grandfather was an expert rifleman. He competed for a couple years on the, rifle, the Marine Corps rifle team. He'd won a number of awards, including the Distinguished Marksman Award medal. And uh, he'd also been a rifle and pistol instructor during his early years in the Marine Corps. And he had been in China when the Japanese invaded China. And he had seen the Japanese military in action. So combining all this, you've got all these recruits coming into the Marine Corps to go fight the Japanese in the Pacific. You've got uh, someone who knows the enemy. He'd seen them in action, who is an, and someone who is an expert rifleman. And he needed to give these, these Marines something to, to hold on to because he knew that the, the rifle would help save lives and win the battle, the ground battle in the Pacific. So... I've learned this rifle creed. I've had to because on the book tour, people have asked me about it and on the spot, I've been asked to recite it and I didn't know it and I felt awful. You know, I'm writing this book about my grandfather who led the Marines in the Pacific and wrote this rifleman's creed and then um, uh, Top Paget, who was a veteran of the 1st Marine Division and drill instructor asked me to recite it on the spot and I, that was it. Like I needed to learn the Rifleman's Creed. So this past six months, you may have seen some other posts. I've been learning it and I think I've learned it well. I've fallen in love with it because I really understand now because the history, it's not like something that should be in a video or, or can be in a video, but it's meant, it was meant for these men going to war. And, you know, every Marine is a rifleman, and our grandfather was a rifleman and felt very strongly about this. So, a little bit of history lesson for you. Uh, so, this is how the rifle creed goes. My rifle, the creed of a United States Marine. A lot of Marines have recited it, and I learned on the book tour that uh, many people in the Army have recited it too. So, very cool. It goes like this. This is my rifle. There are many like it but this one is mine. My rifle is my best friend. It is my life. I must master it as I master my life. My rifle without me is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. I must fire my rifle true. I must shoot straighter than my enemy who is trying to kill me. I must shoot him before he shoots me. I will. My rifle and myself know what counts in this war. It's not the rounds we fire, the noise of our burst, or the smoke we make. We know it's the hits that count. We will hit. My rifle is human, even as I, because it is my life. Thus, I will learn it as a brother. I will learn its weaknesses, its strengths, its parts, its accessories, its sights, and its barrel. I will ever guard it against ravages of weather and damage, as I will ever guard my legs, my arms, my eyes, and my heart against damage. I will keep my rifle clean and ready. We will become part of each other. We will. Before God, I swear this creed. My rifle and myself are the defenders of my country. We are the masters of our enemy. We are the saviors of my life. So be it. Until victory is America's and there is no enemy but peace. Should we find ourselves in the Pacific again, heaven forbid, I hope our Marines and soldiers will remember this creed. Semper Fi.